Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the series on my channel, Feeding Our Family of Four. Now we are working on week two of our $250 budget. So I wanted to make that clear because I think in last week's video, a lot of you guys might have gotten confused. It's $250 every two weeks. So last week was the start of week one. We are on week two and it just kind of goes off of my husband's pay schedule and how we budget and all that kind of stuff. So we're on week two. Um, last week we spent um, $126.52 at Aldi and $44.81 at Mariano. So we're going to see where we are in the budget and literally guys, there is pennies left to our $250 budget. We just, just, I mean, you couldn't really get any closer at all. Okay, so before I go into my grocery haul, and after the grocery haul, we'll follow with the meal plan. I wanted to go into a couple of tips or things that are working each week with us that we can share with you guys. So I recently posted a detox infused water video. Um, that is something new that I have um, implemented in our, I guess, diet or our intake, um, especially for me and my husband's now. My son Joe drinks water like crazy. My daughter Sam is getting better. But we have been off soda for like over four weeks now and it was a process, but let me tell you those infused waters and I will link the video. Um, I'll show you it here, but I'll link it at the end of this video. Check it out. It's super easy. Um, and we went to a fruit market this week for our budget and we spent like $20 and we got a whole boatload of stuff. So it made it really easy for our waters, for our smoothies. And let me tell you, my skin is so much better from drinking that as much water as I have been now. Going to the bathroom and peeing has been a little bit annoying, but the benefits are definitely worth it. So definitely check out that Another video. thing that we are doing is freezing more foods. So um, before I started this series, I made a whole boatload of turkey chili and we froze some. So we're going to implement it this week, but definitely freeze, freeze, freeze. We bought a whole bunch of bananas. I peeled them. I put them in freezer bags. I um, broke, you know, just made them in half so that they were smaller portions. Those are going to be perfect to pull out for our smoothies. Definitely take advantage of freezing items if you're buying them in bulk because chances are you're not going to use them all, especially if you're buying a ton, and they're going to go bad and you're going to throw them away. And that's the same with your fruit for your smoothies, for your waters. If you see that they're starting to go downhill in quality before you throw them away, throw them in your water, make a smoothie for lunch, um, utilize them. We went through so little waste this week. It was amazing. And another thing that we do, a lot of you guys are asking for meals that we use for our kids' lunches. My son Joe has um, SPD, so he is very particular with food, with textures, with scents. He's getting better, so he is um, into a lot of like ham and cheese, he will take peanut butter and jelly. He will eat yogurt. We try and give him protein with um, string cheese, different things like that. He is not a huge fruit person. We are getting him into like sliced apples, which is amazing. Every little step helps. Okay, so what works super well for my daughter are these thermoses. Now, I grabbed this at Target for $14.99, and I will link link it below. I think it's amazing. At first when I bought it for $14.99, I was like, oh my gosh, $14.99 is a lot for this little thing. It is small, but again, it's for her lunches. So it doesn't have to be super huge. It keeps food items warm for five hours and cold for seven. I was just mostly concerned with the warm because she can have spaghetti. She can take mac and cheese in here and she loves it. Um, so what we did when we bought it, just a little tip, is we tested it out because I was concerned with like, does it really keep it warm for five hours? And it did keep her food warm for five hours. So test it out before, like make a meal early if you're making mac and cheese for dinner, instant mac and cheese, just make it early and then put it in here, leave it on the countertop and test it. But this works really good for her. She has her lunch about four hours into her day. So um, she loves to take this, but she loves fruits and vegetables. She's super, super easy for lunches. If you guys do want to see like a meal prep for kids, I can show you some of the things that we make for our kids um, for their lunches and give you guys some ideas. So just but definitely first I'm going to show you guys the grocery haul that we did this week. We went to two stores again. We did good old Aldi and then we also did um, a fruit market called Peter Ruby. Um, if you're in Plainfield, Illinois, 
definitely check them out. They are amazing. Like their Facebook page because they update you on like four day deals of fruits and things that they're doing um, with like bulk buy. So you can go ahead and stock up and freeze. Um, so let's go ahead and check out and see what I bought. Hey guys, here is my fruit haul from today, fruit veggie haul. We got some really great stuff. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you the receipts. We went to two stores. Basically, everything was at one store, but there's a really good deal on the strawberries, so we headed to another store. And I'm going to show you what we have left with our um, budget, how much more we have to work with, and that video will be up on Sunday, so definitely check back for that. But we did get a nice big bag of organic apples, some seedless grapes. Now, I got some pineapple. I just noticed that they're pineapple cores, so... I can probably slice those up in my water. Strawberries were 97 cents and they look so good. So that was a great deal. And you saw those fruit baskets. I got um, some bananas here, a basket of the apples and the oranges, a whole bunch of peppers that I'm gonna make some stuffed peppers with. And then the rest, I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze for um, fajita. Mix, mix that I make of chicken fajita recipe. I got two packages of the blackberries at 99 cents. These seedless cucumbers were two for a dollar. What a steal. Blueberries for 99 cents. I have some fresh rosemary for my water recipes. And then um, they always have markdown items. So they had this morning mix, which is like diced peppers there's some jalapeno there's a little bit of potatoes in there so we mixed those in with our egg whites and it was so good and these bananas i'm going to leave like one out and then i'm just going to freeze the rest of them um so that we can use those for smoothies or anything okay, else so that we want to make is the first store that we grabbed the majority of our stuff at super super great deals check those organic apples a dollar 99 a bag so that came to $19.35, and then I did grab some of the strawberries. They were um, at a store, Jewel, here. They were $0.97, cents, along with the blueberries for $0.97, cents. so $3.95 there. So that brought our out-of-pocket to a total of $23.30 for our produce okay, and guys, veggies. Okay, so along with all of that produce and vegetable haul. This is my Aldi haul for this week. So we have a lot of things in the freezer. We have a large um, turkey breast that we're going to be cooking. I do have some more Italian sausage. I got one today as well. Um, we're going to be cooking that. I've got a couple of chicken recipes. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple smoothies. So what I got for the kids was a gallon of milk. It was a dollar and six cents this week at Aldi. Great deal. I got them some chocolate milk, and that was, I believe, 63, 64 cents today for a half gallon. So really good deal. I did get some orange juice um, and another container of almond milk. We got a carton of eggs. Um, some spring mix for some salad. I have quite a few salad dressings in um, my pantry, so we're going to go ahead and use those. I got some more spinach for our smoothies. Now, I'm trying these sweet chili gluten-free chips. I have not tried these before, but they look pretty good. Um, I got some grape tomatoes for my recipe and some garlic, some multi-grain tortilla chips, and I'm telling you guys, these wraps are so good. They had them on sale for a dollar and sixty-nine cents this week. So, so these are definitely really, really good to get. And they have a tomato one too, but I like the spinach herb, some black beans, some salsa. Then I did get a package of again the Italian beef. This was like only two forty-nine, and a package of pork chops. We'll be having some pork chops too. I am going to be making some sandwiches. So we have some chipotle bread with um, some of the fit and active lunch meat. So we have the turkey breast and then we got a smoked ham and also pepper jack cheese for that as well. I have like at least six or seven yogurts left. So I wanted to get some granola. This is the fit and active with raisins. Then for my peppers from... Um, the uh, produce store, I did get some orange and yellow peppers. They had this three pack of green peppers for 99 cents, so I grabbed one of those. 
Um, I did get some mozzarella. The kids, I got some chicken nuggets. And then for their lunches, a box of um, juice boxes. And also for their lunches, some chocolate chip granola bars. And then some, um, they love these cheese crackers. So um, for lunch, what they'll be doing is peanut butter and jelly. They will be having some of the lunch meat that I do have as well as they have thermoses. So usually in their thermoses, I will make like some noodles with, you know, pasta sauce and maybe we have some frozen meatballs. So if I throw a couple of those in there for them or mac and cheese, those thermoses are awesome. I think they were $14.99. We got them at Target and it keeps their food warm till lunchtime. So this is everything that I got here. Okay, so this is my receipt ahead. here. All the prices you can see, granola bars $1.49, the cheese crackers were $1.49, the lunch meat tubs were $2.39 each. Um, I won't be getting any more lunch meat this week, so we got lunch meat last week, and we're just going to use what we have here. That chocolate milk for $0.64. Cents. The almond milk was $1.99. Spinach tomato wraps, they were $1.69, but they're usually like, I think, closer to $2. Eggs were $1.08. The organic salsa and then the pork chops for $4.78. So at Aldi, with tax, I spent a total of $54.83. Okay, so before I go into the meal plan, I want to show you guys what I am doing with our old meal plans. And check this out. If this has not been used and abused, which is awesome, because you guys know that I'm using it, um, I just got... We used one of my three ring binders from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have a three hole puncher, so I'm just hole punching my plans. I'm gonna put the latest one on top. And then I love this because I can take for you guys to show you guys the figures and for me to make sure that I'm keeping track of um, our budget. I just put the receipts in here. There's a nice little pocket. Once the week is completely over and the video is up, I can go ahead and trash these and start fresh for a new week. But it's a great way to maintain your meal plans to kind of go back and say, oh, what have I not made in a while? What should I make? What's, you know, something we can go ahead and, you know, have for our meals that week. So it's a great reference. So definitely, um, that's a great way to keep your meal plans. And your meal plans, you can go ahead. I told you guys the sheet that I'm using is from PrincipleCrush.com. I will link it below. I'm in no way affiliated. I don't even know PrincipleCrush.com. I just did like a Pinterest search for free printable meal plans. I just wanted something super easy. You can use notebook paper. You don't even have to print it. And I may even go to that route um, starting next meal plan just because you don't want to waste ink. So let's go ahead and check out this meal plan for January 15th. Okay guys, again, it's for the 15th through the 21st. It is, I'm telling you, write down your meal plans. Write down what you need to get at the grocery store. Make a grocery list. Those are some must do things to keep you on track for meal planning. Meal planning takes time. So it's going to seem like you're taking a lot of time in the beginning because it's new. Once you do it, it's going to get so e so much easier. So we are already, um, we've already passed on Sunday because Sunday is over once this video is up. We had um, just homemade pancakes with berries. You can see we had a ton of berries, so we utilized some of those blueberries and it was super yum. And I also froze some as well, so we can throw them in during the week. For lunch, we had pizza toast, and then for dinner, I made taco stuffed peppers. Super easy recipe. It's basically tacos without shells. You're just utilizing stuffed peppers, so it's low carb, and it was super, super yummy. Monday, we are having smoothies because we have a ton of fruit, um, and I started to misspell ciabatta, but I'm making ciabatta sandwiches with that bread. I'm just utilizing the turkey, the pepper jack cheese, and um, the ham as well. They are so yummy. I just add a little bit of Italian dressing to the bread for a little bit of flavoring, pop them in the oven for a few minutes, and they are so, so good. Um, with the kiddos, I will just do ham and um, regular cheese for them. And then uh, for dinner, we're having leftover stuffed peppers. We are 
a big thing that's helped us with our meal plans and not having a lot of waste is utilizing leftovers. Tuesday, we're gonna have some good old scrambled eggs. We still have some of that pepper mix that I showed you from Peter Ruby. It was delish. So good, we will definitely get that again. And it's so easy because everything's diced up for us and ready to go um, in toast. And then lunch will be spring mix salad. The kids will be in school. Um, so basically the lunches are our lunches. And again, if you guys wanna see like a meal, a lunch prep for kiddos, just comment below. And then I'm making a honey barbecue meatloaf. So we will not have, we never have leftovers when it comes to meatloaf. I am going to be using um, turkey meat. We do, we are not, we're trying to use as little um, beef as possible. So I will be using turkey meat for it and it's delish. Um, Wednesday, we're going back to smoothies because I know our fruit is going to start going downhill. So I wanna utilize it. Um, lunch will be turkey wraps with spinach. I am using the spinach wraps as well from Aldi. They are so good, guys. Definitely get them. I think they have a sun-dried tomato. Um, I'm not crazy about that one. I love the spinach one. And then for dinner, we're having chicken caprese. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. If it's caprese, sorry. Um, correct me in the comments. But um, it is so yummy with chicken. And we are going to have tomatoes grape tomatoes, mozzarella cheese. So if there's any recipes that you wanna see, comment below. I do have in the freezer some pump, pumpkin spice muffins. These are super easy um, and the kids like them, which I'm really surprised because they're not um, pumpkin kids, but we will have those. We're gonna have leftovers from the night before and then for dinner, I'm going to go ahead and make pork um, chops, ranch pork chops with veggies. Friday, we'll have some oatmeal with cinnamon. It will not be instant oatmeal. It will be the plain oats with cinnamon. Um, for lunch, we are going to have tomato and avocado melts. Super easy. You just pop it on some wheat bread and it's so yummy. And then dinner, I'm making a boatload of sausage, peppers, and potatoes. We are going to be feasting on that for definitely an extra day. Saturday is going to be super easy. It's an open day, cereal, toast, whatever you pretty much want. Um, frozen pancakes. We do have frozen French toast. We're going to go ahead and eat those leftover sausage. And then I do have some turkey chili that's already made and in the freezer. So it's an item that I froze. I don't know if I'm even bringing it out because... I may not need it. We can always eat the sausage or if we, whatever we have left over, go ahead and do that. For the that. following week, I'm looking to make some scrambled egg muffin. Um, I've seen a ton of recipes. I've not made those yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Gonna go with slow cooker beef and broccoli, super easy. Also a one pot ranch chicken. Um, and with that, I'm gonna have potatoes and green beans. And then I really am in the mood for a good minestrone soup. So I've seen some copycat Olive Garden soups. So I'm looking to make that as well in the upcoming okay, so week. so budget wise, as far as our budget, we had a $250 budget for two weeks. We hit $249.46. Yes, we have 54 cents left to roll over as overage for our food budget. and. From doing this from last year, and we weren't as strict, we kind of went off budget a little bit, but we did have some carryover of about like $89, I think that we have. So we just kind of carry that over each week if we need it, but we won't need it this week. We are doing super, super good. So 54 cents overage, how close can you get? Um, some things that work with us, the water, we um, have been doing amazing with water. Now we do have a water service that we use um, for Nestle. So we get our bottles each month. We get, I believe, six bottles. So we go through a lot of water, um, which is good. Um, what else had worked for us? We had very little waste this month, uh, this week. Again, we pretty much ate all of our leftovers, so that was amazing. Um, I did take some of the peppers that I bought and froze some of those, so I can use those for meal prep for future meals. And yeah, we made a ton of pancakes, so we have a ton of frozen pancakes for the kids. That's pretty much what they have. As far as breakfast for us, I will do like a protein shake a lot or smoothies. So if you'd like to see some smoothie recipes, definitely let me know. And I wanted to reach out to you guys and say if there's any recipes that you guys have made, just 
you can comment below. I can look them up. Um, it gives me ideas as well of things that I can um, utilize on in our meal plan. So it truly helps me out. So if you have any super yummy recipes, comment below and let me know. But I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. They're helping me. So I hope that they're helping you. And um, yeah, check back next week. And hopefully I'll have some new tips that will help you or some new ideas of things that are going on. Um, I am currently not exercising. And I had a little um, couple of health issues with my Foot, so I'm getting that up and running and I will be doing a video because some of you guys may be going through it as well and I want to show you guys some things that are working now I am a huge walker um, as far as exercise I love to walk or walk on the treadmill or on our um, exercise machine so I will be incorporating that as soon as my foot gets a little better I don't want to overwhelm it right now because it's um, it's been a few weeks and um, I think I will be there soon. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys at the next meal plan video. Have a great week and take care. Bye-bye.